Hello and welcome to my video. In this video I'm going to show you how to load styles from a USB thumb drive into an E463 keyboard memory. So I've gone on to the internet and I have found styles that I want to load into my keyboard and I have placed those styles on this thumb drive. So I'm going to show you how do you get the styles from the thumb drive and store them in one of the 10 memory locations in the E463. So this is where you plug your thumb drive into the E463. There's no other place on the keyboard. You can't mistake it and it only goes in one way so you can't get it in upside down. So I've got the style files already on this thumb drive. Here I'm looking inside the thumb drive to show you the styles. I have over 130 styles on this thumb drive. In this video, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this style right here called Mambo Zero and we're going to transfer it from this thumb drive and store it in one of the 10 memory locations in the keyboard. And I've already decided I'm going to go into memory location 240. They go from 235 to 245. You have 10 places you can store them. This one, Mambo Zero style, I'm going to put in 240. Okay? So this is a look at my keyboard. Here's the screen and I want to talk about the buttons over here that we're going to use. The first button we're going to use is the function button. And then we will be using the execute button. I will be using these category buttons and I'll be using the rotary dial. Those are the four things I need to go into the thumb drive locate the style and get it transferred into the memory of the keyboard. So I'm going to show you a little slideshow of the steps that will do it and then at the end I'll show you a video of me actually doing it on the keyboard. So the first thing is press and hold the function button for about two seconds. This function button works two ways. If you just reach out and tap it, that does one thing. We need to reach out and press and hold it for about two or three seconds. See this little uh, circle with a down arrow in it? This says file control. What that means is if you press and hold this button down, we go into the file control. This is how we're going to get into that thumb drive by pressing and holding this function button for a couple of seconds. Now, here's the deal. We need to be looking at this. After we press the function button and hold it on the screen, we're looking for load STD. Here's the situation. These are all of the different things that could show up when you press and hold the function button. We've gone into the file control display. And as you see, these all have to do with a USB thumb drive. This is how we get into it. What we want is down here. We want to load a style that's stored on the thumb drive and we're going to load it into the keyboard. So when you press the function button, it may not say load style. It could say any of these. It depends on what your keyboard's been doing. A lot of times mine starts way up here. So the deal is we have to be able to select this, load style. And how do you do that? You use the category buttons. These two buttons, by pressing these, uh, we can work our way down through it and I just keep pressing category until I finally see this load style. When I get there, then I press the, the execute button. 
Okay. So how do I select the style on the thumb drive? And the answer is, I'm going to use the rotary dial. And as I dial this, I work my way through alphabetically all of the files, and these are all styles, all of the style files I have on that thumb drive. So using the rotary dial, I just sit here and spin this. I've told you that we're looking for Mambo Zero. And all of these files are listed alphabetically on the style on the thumb drive. So you just keep rotating this, watching your screen until you finally find the style name that you're looking for. And when you find it, then you press the execute button. So use the rotary dial to select the file on the thumb drive that you want to load into the keyboard, then press execute. Okay? What happens now what it wants to know is which of the 10 memory locations do you want to load into and the memory locations go from 236 to number 245 so to change this I've already told you I, I've decided I'm going to load this into memory location 240 so I use the rotary dial to select which memory location you want to store the selected style in. And when you finally dial it up, then you press execute. So rotate, rotate, watch. When you come up to the number you want, hit execute. Next. It's going to say this, load OK. It's sort of a double check. Are you sure this is what you want to do? And so... Once again, I will simply press the Execute button to accept this. It's sort of a double check to make sure you've selected the right file and the right memory location before you do it. So we press Execute and voila, this is what the screen will look like. The word Loading will appear on the screen and this word stays there as long as it takes your computer or I'm sorry, your keyboard, to load the style into. It could be 15 seconds, it could be 30 seconds. S somewhere between 15 and 30 seconds is typically about how long it takes. So you just sit there and watch your screen until it, it does its thing. It's loading it from the thumb drive into the memory of your keyboard. When it's done, voila! This flashes on your screen, complete. It doesn't stay there very long. It only stays there about two or three seconds, and then it goes away. Okay? So this means you have successfully stored one of the styles from the USB thumb drive into one of the 10 memory locations in the E463 keyboard. So, Maury, I can only store 10? Yes, that's correct. Well, w what if there's some more that I want to do? What you have to do is you can overwrite. You can come back tomorrow or the next day or the next week, and you can choose a different style on your thumb drive. And what you will do is you will overwrite one of the 10 style memories that you've already located. You only have 10 but you can put anything into any one of the 10 anytime you want. So let's say today I put 10 styles in. And a week from tomorrow, I go get 10 more. And uh, another week goes by and I go and get another 10. So you can just play musical m styles, uh, but only 10 at a time can be pulled off of the thumb drive and put in there. Once they're in your memory, they stay there permanently until you come and put something else in their place. Okay? So what I want to do is I've taken my iPhone and I've actually videoed me doing this. So here is a video of me loading a style which is named Mambo Zero from the thumb drive into memory location number 240 
in the E463 keyboard. Let's watch this live video now. In this video, I'm going to go into my thumb drive and I'm going to load a style named Mambo Zero. And I will load that into memory location 240 on the E463. So this is the way we do it. I start by pressing and holding the function button. And now I need to use the category buttons to select load style. So I'm going to press click, click, click. There it is, load style. Now I press the execute button. Ready, click. Now what I have to do is use the rotary dial to select the file on my thumb drive. And what I'm looking for is Mambo Zero. So I'm going to use the rotary dial and these are alphabetical. It's looking on the thumb drive and there it is, Mambo Zero. That's the style I want to load from the thumb drive into the memory of my U E463. So I press execute. Ready? Click. Now it wants to know which one of the 10 memory locations do you want to load that style into? And I've already decided I want to go into 240. So I use the rotary dial, 37, 38, 39, 240. There's where I want to store the style. So once again, I press the execute button. Ready? Click. And it says, are you sure? Yes, this is what I want. So I press the execute button again. Ready? Click. And now it says loading. And it will say this as long as it takes to load that style from the thumb drive into one of the 10 memory locations on my keyboard. And it's still loading. Complete. That's it. That's how you load a style from the thumb drive and store it in one of the 10 memory locations in the E463 keyboard.